I'm Sally. And I'm Doug. We are in our 50th year of marriage. We've been blessed with six children. And 20 grandchildren. We've lived in Coeur d'Alene for 20 years and we love it. It's so beautiful here and it only gets better when you go to the mountains and the alpine lakes in the area. We try to walk or hike together at least six miles every day except Sundays. It's brought us so close together and it's been great for our marriage. We've both been blessed with excellent health. During the pandemic year of 2020, I lost 80 pounds. I weigh myself every day and I don't eat after four o'clock. Doug has put together some highlights of our hikes in the vicinity of Coeur d'Alene. It is really a hiker's paradise. We'll show you how to get to the trailheads, how far it is, and how long it takes to get there. We've created chapters in our videos, and they're listed in the description below. You can jump to a particular hike by clicking on it. Subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell so you'll know when we posted another beautiful hike. And remember, happy hiking, and we, we go, go together. together. We go together. It's all I know, side by side. It's how we grow hand in hand. Through these times, we'll fall and rise. Funny how you can. So we take off trail 279, cross the Pack River. The trail has little steps, or big steps, lots of roots. <laughs> That's what a Karen's for to show us the way on this granite slab. This is pretty fun. Haven't really done this before. There's a Karen, I followed the way. Kind of steep. He's... So I'll give you a little view. Still no raindrops. That was easy. Okay, now what? Follow the next Karen up the hill. Okay. This is not granite, this is snow. So the lake is still frozen over.
8.13. The sun's just coming over the little mountain there. We've been freezing to death. It was 38 this morning. Tents all down. We've had our breakfast. And we're ready to go off on the trail. I had the best night's sleep in a tent last night that I've ever had, which isn't that great, but it's more than four and a half hours. It was nice and warm. We went to bed at eight? We went to bed at eight and Doug slept till like six. Here we go, trail 217. Hiker beware. Don't forget about their grizzly bears. You saw the moose, huh? Tell us about it. Uh, about a, I don't know, maybe a two-year-old moose. And we got here yesterday afternoon, and uh, the campers over here yelled moose. <laughs> so we looked for it, and it, it came right along this path here and took its time eating at the bushes and then went through on this way yesterday afternoon. And then this morning, um, I woke up to his ass end being about right here. And that's how I woke up and I went to sleep for another, well, I stayed in bed for another half hour, got up again at 6.30 and he was eating on that huckleberry bush right there. Oh, wow. Yeah. He just oh. stares at you. Awesome. Yeah. They, the sign says aggressive, but the other hikers have said it's friendly. Yeah. It's, I think they just want you to give it space. Yeah. Because he's not afraid of you, so he'll, he'll come up close to you if you're not moving. Yeah. So... Can we believe we just came up this thing? And I came up where Sally's coming up. Yeah, just come right up, straight up now. Yeah, this is where you have to get it, use all fours. Put your knee on there, because that'll get, if your foot slips, you're in trouble. Okay. This is the ridge. Lovely little trail, isn't it? There's Harrison Peak, which doesn't look like I'm qualified to go up. This is everything that's fallen off of Harrison Peak. Look at all that granite. There's barely a breeze up here, and it's usually windy on a ridge. The Selkirks. And you can't even see the lake from up here. That's disappointing. And there's the other side.
Today is July 9th, 2021. We're going to hike to the Snow Lake and Bottleneck Lake today. And in two days, it's my 68th birthday. And I'm so grateful I can hike. It is such a great activity and it's such a great marriage booster. We just love doing this together. Best thing we've done in 49 years, almost. One of the best. I have to watch out for grizzly bears today. That should be exciting. But we're prepared. We both have our bear spray. We just have to be super fast to get it out in time. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. It was a two hour drive to get here. It's gonna be a warm day. <laughs> In case you need some more water. I don't know. How's that for gorgeous? We haven't seen one person, although there was one car. Bottleneck Lake. We got our feet in the water. It feels so good. We just don't know how we're going to get out and get all dried off. Super pretty. That must be Bottleneck Peak. How'd you like that hike? Oh, it was fabulous. Your feet hurt? It was long, about 12 miles.
we made it to this fun little saddle. There's Chimney Rock. On the other side of that little ridge is uh, Beehive Lakes. And look at this. Starting pretty northish. I'm at the top of whatever her name is. Roseanne Peak. There's Chimney Rock. I thought Rosemary and Brant were gonna have a welcoming party up here. Now I have to go down all by myself. Scary! On our way down. And it's really steep. And some nice big rocky steps. You can see Upper Priest Lake right through there. And it hasn't rained a drop yet. But the clouds look pretty fun. Nothing can ever change. We go.